Today, you will know how girls love interest, people's insecurities and confidence are unconsciously manifested through their body language. Let's start with our first scene. Exposed palms. When women expose the underside of their wrists to others, it means that they are comfortable. This is often seen in dating scenarios where the woman plays with their hair, palm out, while talking to someone whom she is interested. Interlaced fingers. Interlaced fingers are a form of self-hug. People who perform this gesture are comforting themselves with their hands, and it acts as a nostalgic reminder of the security we felt when holding hands with our parents as kids. Head tilt. A head tilt is a sign of openness. Our neck is one of our most vulnerable areas. Neck skin is much thinner and requires protection. It's a submission head gesture that is commonly used by women when they're in the company of someone they like or are simply interested in the ongoing conversation. Dead arms. If you're naturally introverted and socially awkward, then you may be guilty of gluing your arms to the sides of your body. Dead arms can indicate nervousness or anxiety. This cue can come naturally to those who aren't used to taking up a lot of space or feel naturally underconfident. Release of hormone oxytocin. In my previous video, I have already explained about it and the two internal forces of humans. Watch that video to know about some more cues not mentioned in this video. Chin touching. When a person touches his chin, the person is thinking or evaluating something. We stroke our chins when we are required to make a decision based on that evaluation. Arms akimbo. When a person keeps his hands on hips with elbows out, it is known as arms akimbo. This is a dominance display. This signals that an individual is ready and alert, has something to discuss, or there is an issue. Most of the time, this gesture is used by police, firefighters etc. Hooding. The interlacing of the fingers behind the head with the elbows out is called hooding because the person looks like a cobra when it hoods, making the person seems bigger. This is a territorial display which we do when comfortable and in charge. Areki's thinking style. Though I am not sure about this myself, but the way Areki uses his hand to grab his hair while thinking, it stimulates nerve endings. Sometimes, it also acts as a barrier, cutting off access from the outside world to help him in thinking more clearly. To talk about. Huh? I'm just curious as to why you wanted to... People stomp their feet when they are exasperated or they have reached the limit of their patience. Usually the foot is only stomped once, just to the attention of the other person. It's basically like saying, hey, you're pissing me off. Wrist or arm clasp. When one hand is clasping the other wrist, there is an element of self-comfort in the pose, if only a bit. This suggests they're not ready for sudden action. It's purely submissive. Thumb hiding. When a person feels insecure or threatened, he puts his thumbs in his pocket and lets the fingers hung out on the side. It indicates low status or confidence. Hands stroking. When a person is in high stress, he strokes or rubs the palms of his hands to pacify himself. It is like the brain is asking for extra hand contact to pacify more serious concerns or anxiety. Thumb display. When a person sticks out his thumb out of the pocket, it typically means the person is confident in what they are doing, thinking or saying. Hand steepling. When an individual does steepling, it signifies that he is confident in his thoughts or position. It lets others know precisely how you feel about something and how dedicated you are to your point of view. Neck massaging. When a person massages the sides or back of the neck, it is to calm himself. It is usually done when something is bothering the person. Finger pointing. Almost universally, finger pointing is viewed as one of the most offensive gesture. It has negative connotations around the globe. Studies show that people dislike it when someone points a finger at them. If you have to point, especially in a professional or romantic setting, use the full hand, fingers together, rather than a single finger. 